Okay, sweet. So now that we've got this geometry sorted, we've got whatever model we want to make. We want to make what's called a color ID map or material ID map. A set of colors as a map that's going to cover this single object that is going to tell Mixer that there's different materials going on. So different colors means different materials. So first thing you want to do is make sure you're in material preview mode, which you can get to up here or by pressing Z and going material preview. Uh, go into edit mode, hitting tab, select one face, do your control L. So color this one. So new material. We want just the diffuse because we want a really nice flat color to make sure it's super clear. We get literally the color we're after. So make this green or whatever, just that one. Um, and we'll go assign. Then select another set of geometry that you want to color. Say I want all these to be, you know, a, a metal, metal kind of material that's separate to everything else. Make a new material here, new. Make sure that's set to diffuse again. Make that red, click, click aside. So I think you get the idea here. It's just to tell Mixer that there's different materials going on within this one object. So do this for all our uprights. New material, new diffuse. Assign color. So it's repeating that process for every different group of colors you want. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna have something that looks something like this. You want the colors to be fairly different, but Mixer has quite a wide variety of colors that it can tell apart. So it can tell this red from this pink. It could even tell a pink from a darker shade of pink. So you can get quite detailed with this. Mm -hmm.